Hey YouTubers, uh, recently I had a, been wanting to get a snorkel for my Jeep and when I was doing some uh, research uh, a lot of them were about the $200, $300 range and that was a little bit more than what I was willing to spend as far as you know investing in my Jeep. I mean I don't have the the newest Jeep in the world but uh, you know I didn't want to, I did want to add one to my Jeep so I ended up finding one on eBay for $80 and so I thought I'd give it a try. I'm pretty pleased with it. I'm pretty pleased with the way you know its functionality and and how it uh, how it turned out. And so I thought I'd do a quick video and uh, show you how I installed it. And pretty much this is stuff that you're gonna need. Um, you need some ratchets and uh, you know wrenches if you need it. Also some sockets, stuff like that. And you're also gonna need a drill and a three inch. I don't know what they call these, but pretty much three inch saw. So you can drill the hole. Also you need some silicone, um, the clear or the black one, a screwdriver. You're also going to need a, a rivet tool and a jigsaw and some other cutting tools as well. If you have a Dremel that'd be pretty much ideal. And so this is what it looks like. Um, here's a side view of it. Um, before we get started, um, one thing that you do want to think about before you start, you know, making an investment in your snorkel is basically if, if you want to, you know, the first thing of all is you want to drill a hole inside your Jeep. That's one of the main things that a lot of people probably have a little bit of reservations about. Also, um, any kind of accessories that you want to mount on here on top as far as uh, lights and light bars, um, they might get in the way or if you want to put some here as well. Also, um, if you do have the half doors like I do, one of the things that I knew that I was going to kind of come in problems with is uh, being able to put your doors back on us. Uh, also with just even removing your doors in the first place. I know we like to take off our doors sometimes but basically you can't take it out anymore because this will be in the way. So that's one thing. Also when you try to put in your doors it's going to be hard to put them like this. So the, basically the way I do it is I move to the side like this and I drop it in about halfway. Right there. And I just align the holes like so. And I just push down. I know even then it's kind of like that. So those are several things that you want to think about before you know you invest in a snorkel. Which I counted the cost and I still wanted one. So, so now if you want to continue into buying a snorkel, so let's get to it then. So let's go ahead and open up our hood here. And I've already kind of loosened things up and unscrewed stuff and so uh, basically what you're going to be doing is taking uh, this part off first. You're going to unscrew this here. You're going to unscrew, unscrew over here. And there's also two bolts. One right here and one right here. Once you got those loose you just go ahead and take this off. Move it out of the way. You're also going to pull, pull out this little vacuum tube that's right there. And you're going to loosen these little clamps there. Slide this out, move that out of the way, take out your air filter and you're also going to be removing these three bolts right here that are in here. And to do that you're going to have to remove the whole air box. Once you do that, reason being is because you're going to be putting, putting a plate here, blocking off a plate here and you're also going to be putting this plate as well. Basically this is the way it was the way it was before. This was of course in there and you just you know twist this and slide it off. And you're gonna be uh, drilling some holes. And basically what I did was I just put the plate against the box like that and then I drilled the holes one by one. There's one, two, three, four, and five. And then I put the plate, put the rivets, and then I sealed it with silicone. And the reason why I got the black silicone is just so it can match the black as well so you can see the black so I put clear and I put the black right over it as you can see on the inside as well on the inside to try to make to make it watertight next we're gonna get this template oh also um, when I did buy the kit there was several of them that specifically said on the description box that it does not come with the template so make sure when you do buy one that it says that it comes with the template and that's what I made sure when I bought this because this one came with it um, there was like I think five or six that I was looking at different ones and said um, you know of course warning that it does not come with the template. So 
disclaimer. Get one that says that it came with a template because you're going to need them. All right, so basically I just, you know, tape this against the box and I cut, you know, the vertical hole. That's what it looks like now. One more thing. This one does have the places where it shows that you're supposed to um, put the other holes for the uh, this plate right here. But it did not line up. So I'm glad what I do, if you learn anything from me on this video, is I dry fit everything before I start cutting and before I start drilling holes and stuff. So basically what I had to do, since these weren't lining up with the holes that were on here, I just did them one by one. I just pretty much put, put this plate against it and I put the holes and of course I riveted them afterwards and then I sealed it with silicone. Okay, next. So once we got all that, we got this ready. This is ready to go. Of course, let it let everything dry. We're gonna have to uh, prepare ourselves to install this bad boy here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the battery. So you just remove the battery, the negative battery cable first, and the positive. Move this out of the way. This plate here has four bolts. It's got one, two, three, four. I already moved two. Remove the other two, and before you start yanking this plate out, just carefully move it. It's going to be attached to a sensor here. The sensor is going to be attached to a cable here, and just remove that, like so. Set that aside. When you do remove all this, this box right here, which is a vacuum vacuum box, it's actually going to be in there somewhere. It's going to be kind of in there like that you're gonna have to move that out of the way so you can make room for your tube eventually you can attach it to somewhere else I'm probably gonna attach it to the side wall right here I mean to the firewall right here that way it's out of the way one thing that I also did there was a website that I uh, that I kind of gave that gave me a walkthrough on how to install the snorkel but I've been trying to find it again because I had it bookmarked and it's just not coming out so if I do find it, I'll put it in the description box. That way I can give them some credit, but I haven't been able to find it. So basically, I also had to remove this plate, which is, this is all one plate right here. I had to remove this to kind of cut into it, because this, this space that it's in here where this tube is going through was too small for this thing to fit. So I had to remove it and cut into it to make it a, you know, a bigger circle. And basically you have to take off this bolt. There's a bolt behind it back there. And then there's four bolts right here. One, two, three, four. And I believe there's two more underneath, which are these right here. One and two. And then you should be able to take this thing out. And so when I took that out, of course, I cut on this side right here. A bigger hole so this tube can fit. And one on this side. I trimmed a little bit on this side. And of course, I put electric tape. That way, when I'm running it through there, it doesn't cut into my tube. The same thing with here. I kind of just put some silicone to make it softer. Um, so once we got all that ready to go, we're going to get ready to install this, the snorkel itself. Now, this is always going to be the hardest part. Reason being is because if you don't do it right, as you can see in other videos, if you've seen other videos of people um, attaching their snorkels, they either cut too far front or too far back or too high, or too far low. So when they try to, you know, put it against there, it's not aligning with... This thing has a cutout on the inside for your antenna, as you can see. It's perfectly aligned. So if you don't do it right down here, you're going to have misalignment up here. So what I did to avoid that, because of course it comes with the template, which you put against the Jeep, but I just wanted to make sure that it was right, because you only have one chance of doing this, right? So what I did was, the box that the snorkel came in, what I did was I cut a hole, I used this, cut a hole into the box, got the snorkel, put it in that hole, and then I outlined it. I outlined it and I cut out this right here. And you can't say you don't have a box that you can cut out with because well, of course you do because that's what the snorkel came in. And so I did that and of course I did this right here where I kind of lined it right there and I put the little holes and I made that that and that and once I did that I put it against the Jeep 
like, like that of course down here and I made sure this little hole is where the uh, the antenna sticks out a little bit that's where that hole is at and that's where I showed against the Jeep where it would be as far as alignment so once I did that I lined it like this and these little two lines were where these screws were gonna be right there and right there so I knew where it was gonna be and so when I made sure where I was gonna cut it I made sure kind of I leaned it a little bit forward that way I can have a little bit more space when I because I knew I was gonna have problems with the door so uh, that might help you out with uh, the alignment instead of just guessing on where to put it and basically all I did was I just cut it along the dotted lines that it comes with and I just kind of lined it up there and I lined it up with this little crease here like that and I mean it was pretty much spot on but I you know I put this on there and of course I got my other template and I kind of lined it made sure everything was was good to go and once I got everything lined up of course he drilled the hole and even then after I drilled the hole I still had to kind of make it a little bit wider for the because the the angle on the inside is a little bit slanted so I kind of had to make it a little bit bigger but you know it fit right in there fit nice and perfectly the alignment was fine as far as the where the antenna is going to go um, up here to uh, attach this little bracket to uh, to your Jeep you're going to have to drill two more holes up here um, basically what I did was I got some play-doh and I can pretty much put it like on the on the side of the Jeep and then I put that bracket attached to the snorkel slid it in and I kind of just pressed it against the Jeep and I left the little holes little indentations where I'm going to drill and pretty much I just drilled there and the alignment came perfect right there and I did have to drill a little hole into this top bracket right here because it was kind of a little bit misaligned um, but it was it was no big deal so that's what I did to attach that this thing to fly away okay so pretty much I started uh, assembling everything sorry about that um, and pretty much the kit comes with everything that you're gonna need to uh, to uh, put those little screws there and there's gonna be another screw on the bottom you're gonna run the hose through here and of course you're gonna clamp it there run the hose this way and clamp it one more time over here and of course they put silicone on this junction here and then the spart and there's this junction as well and I made sure to make it as waterproof as I could by adding silicone wherever I could on all little cracks and spaces but uh, I think that should pretty much do it um, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out um, it's better than spending $300 I mean $80 you can't beat that um, if you have any questions or comments go ahead and leave them below and I'll try to answer them for you um, I appreciate all the subscribers that I've got I think I checked earlier today I think I had like 16, 16 subscribers so I appreciate you guys and if you know you're in the market for a snorkel and you don't want to pay $300 you know there's an $80 one on eBay and I think there were some other websites I think there were like maybe $90 as well but um, you know hopefully this uh, this video can help you out and save you a couple bucks and uh, yep I appreciate your all's attention if you all stay to the end of the video I'll try to post some more up whenever I can one of the ones that I think I might do as you can see I don't know if you could tell but this part right here is all faded and, and worn and ugly and this part looks nice and dark and gray also with the door um, there's a video that I saw online on how to redo the interior and if you guys want me to post a video on how to how to you know make it look brand new you know go ahead and let me know and, and I'll post the video on how to do it so uh, I appreciate you guys you all have a good day thanks bye